Since winning the Oscar for Gandhi, his first starring role in a movie, Ben Kinsley has gone on to prove his versatility in such films as Bugsy and the current hit Sneakers. But audiences are about to hear a different side of him. In a new recording of the Rodgers and Hammerstein classic, Ben Kingsley has teamed up with Julie Andrews to recreate the music of The King and I, and we're pleased to have him here with us before he heads back to Los Angeles. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to have you here. How did this all start? Because um, it's gotten a lot of attention for a recording. It has. I think, I think for, for very good reasons. It's the first time in, in, a, in a very long time, something like about 35 years, that, yeah. that the film score has been recorded. Um, this is, we're using the film score, right. which is different from the stage score. It's, it's wider, it's deeper, it's more generous, it's a much richer tone. And we're using, um, you get the royal we, do you? Yeah. They, I yeah, should be right, saying right, they. Right, Sorry we, about this. We, we okay. Yeah. I'm family now. 96-piece um, orchestra. Yeah. This is the Hollywood, the Hollywood Bowl, Bowl Orchestra. orchestra. Right. Um, it also does include uh, quite a lot of uh, dialogue, so that you do get the every song is in is in its dramatic context. Every song, it's clear why it is in the story, what story the song is telling. So it's 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 a, a narrative CD as well as a wonderful musical experience. It is rather like listening to a very very brilliant and and expensively produced right, radio well, play, you know. Yeah, is your son in this also? Does he Edmund. have Edmund? Uh, yes, Edmund. Yes. Named after Edmund Keane? After Edmund Keane, yes. Yeah. And he uh, plays uh, Anna's son, yeah. Lewis. Now, did they beautiful. know they were getting a twofer when they hired you? They didn't know they were getting a twofer, but they, they said um, in the same way. Um, I said, look, my, my boys are coming over to be with me. Um, and one of them does sing, and he does, he does act. Yes. Uh, and they said, well, why don't you um, fax him? So he faxed back. My ten-year-old sent this fax back what, saying... What was that kind of resume? I would very much like to sing in The <laughs> King and I. Thank you very much, yeah. Edmund. And they were so thrilled with this. How did you prepare for it? Um, this is, I worked this is a role made famous by Yul Brynner. Oh, it is. And that was pretty daunting. Yeah. Um, I worked with Mitch Hamlin, who is a, a very, very fine teacher who works with Phillips Classics, with John Maturi, and with Michael Gore. John, Michael, and Mitch were um, extremely encouraging, and they, they got me breathing. Now, if, you're f if you're nervous about doing something, the first casualty is your breathing. It, it gets shallower and shallower and shallower until you find you're snatching breath from somewhere like down yeah, here. When you tense up, that's the first thing that goes, the, isn't it? The, yeah, the, right. the lower ribs and the diaphragm. And we did um, uh, singing lessons up and down the scale, breathing lessons, and getting the lips resonating again. And uh, we had about 10 very intensive days' work on, on the four or five numbers that I do on yeah. the album and recorded it. I was called for three days' recording. And you studied what Yul Brynner had done because he had so defined the role, so you could build on what he had done? Or did you say, I don't want to see this at all because I, I don't want it to affect my performance? Well, going back to the old days when I was a stage actor and doing a lot of Shakespeare, I was never nervous of looking at the old photographs or even seeing things on film because it's part of, it certainly was, and I hope still is part of the acting tradition, that you are allowed to hand something on yeah. and you are allowed to take. It's an act of uh, affection and respect to imitate and to copy and to emulate. It is an act of love anyway. Right. Um, and I... Imitation is, just, uh, what do they flattery. say? Flattery. Yeah, right. imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And I, I did like Yule's performance in, um, in The King and I. I never met the man, but I know that Dickie Attenborough's personal assistant before she became Richard's assistant was Yule Brynner's assistant. And Claire Howard said, I, I, you know, I couldn't wish to work for a, for a finer man. He was a most magnificent man. And I think it shows in the work and, yeah. and in how he portrays that What did that he thing. have that you wanted to capture? Was it... Well... Phrasing, what? It was, it was energy and conviction behind every word he was singing. Um, it was muscular, uh, it was very virile, and at the same time, it was exotic and, and full of confidence, full of confidence. Even when he's singing, I'm, it's a puzzlement, I'm puzzled, yeah. he's saying I'm puzzled with total confidence. There's a wonderful paradox there. Yeah. You know, I really am puzzled by this. 
instead of saying, oh, I'm puzzled by this. It's sort of very yeah. assertive. So, Muscular. Yeah, it's great. And that's, that was a great sort of template in on which yeah. to base my, my, my attempt. And Julie Andrews is good as well? Julie Andrews is everything you hope she would be when you meet her. <laughs> yeah, what did and you hope more? she would be? Well, I hoped she would be this, this diamond, this sort of goddess, this, yeah. this, um, this angel, and and she is and more. You know, she's she's a wonderful, wonderful a diamond, woman. an angel, a goddess. Yeah, I hope I hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty damn good. <laughs> What's this going to do for your career, if anything? I mean, is um, this going to lead to the musical theater for Mr. Kinky? Um, what I would like to do with Julie, if it's at all possible, is, is mount a concert uh, um, for AIDS uh, charities and possibly cancer research and, and do a big concert. A whole series of songs, not just King and I or just only King Probably and I? Probably just the King and I. Yeah.